sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can uh, either restart the reboot the pie or shut down the pie by using a simple switch and using uh, the GPIO pins. So uh, now we could really use about any GPIO pin on here, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using the ground and the uh, GPIO four. So, just for the purpose of this, I have the ground on the outside, that's the yellow, and the orange is the GPIO4, four, four pins down on the inside. Five volts is down here in the corner. And I'm just using a simple momentary switch, and I just slid the uh, wires over the switch there, and... Uh, the terminals and you can get these I think I got these on eBay several hundred of them different varieties so anyway we're going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you the script and uh, get it to working all right, so now we're back here on the uh, computer. I'm SSH'd into the Pi, and we just need to make a file here. So we could just call this whatever, but we'll just call it shutdown dot py. And you could put this script wherever you feel, but I'm just putting it under the uh, main directory. So we're gonna copy this. And I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this. So anyway, we're going to shut this down. Now you can change the uh, sleep in seconds, depending on how many seconds you want it. Once you press the button, it'll wait three seconds before it shuts off. Now you can change this to whatever you feel. And we can actually change this. We can do sudo reboot, shutdown, shutdown dash H, now, whatever you feel. We can basically edit this line here and make it whatever you want. So we can do a shutdown dash H, now, if we want, or we could just do a shutdown or a reboot, whatever you feel. Now, if you don't want to use GPIO4, you need to <clears throat> change this 4 with whatever GPIO uh, number you're using, and this 4 here. You need to change this one also. So once you have them two changed, then you could use whatever you feel. So anyway, we're just going to keep it on 4. And we're just going to do a control X, Y, and enter if you're using nano. Now let's run this to see if it just works. So we'll type in the following. And if we don't get no errors, it'll look like this. So we're just going to cancel it because it's going to work. And once it hits, we hit the button, it's going to print out reboot shut shutting down now you can rename this to whatever you want but uh we're just going to let it be like that so anyway now we want to enable this that we can do this anytime so we want the script to uh start up on boot so we are going to add this to uh the RC local. So we'll get into RC local <clears throat> and scroll down right below the exit zero. We are going to paste in the following. So now what this is going to do, if everything works good, it should. run this 
uh, on boot. So wherever you had this put at, just change the uh, directory to match. And we're going to do a control X, Y, and enter. And we are going to reboot this guy and see if this works. So I'll be right back. All right, so now we're logged back in. And uh, we're going to hit the button here to see if this shuts down. So, like I said, it's going to have a three second uh, delay before it starts. Button's pushed. Now we got the message here. So it's going to wait, but we can change that uh, time to make it less, which I think I'm going to on the uh, script that I'll have on my website so we don't have to wait so long. But uh, I did try this on a, for reboot. It does work on reboot also. You just got to change that uh, sudo shutdown to sudo reboot. Then obviously it won't do none of this stuff as you can see here on the screen. So if we wait here another couple of seconds, we should be we should be showing up here some more information before it powers down because it, right now it's still powered on. It's just on a time. All right, so there we go. So now it's powered off. And safe to be unplugged but uh, that's pretty much it you know pretty simple to do so uh, I'll throw this throw the link in the description and you'll be ready to go all right thanks for watching